Hello everyone. If you haven't played with Revit 2020 or worked with Revit 2020 yet, I must say it's a, it's a great, great version of Revit. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. The other day I was made a dent to uh, one of the additions which I like a lot, which is the internal project origin or the internal Revit origin that is shown with a new icon. It used to be quite difficult to explain to people what the different points in um, Revit meant because there's no origin like there is in AutoCAD that you can see with a UCS icon. Now although Revit doesn't have a uh, command line or a UCS as such where you can see the world coordinate system, um, it's still within this project and that is what you get when you insert um, something uh, origin to origin, it's placing the origin say of an AutoCAD file or a Revit file, it's placing that internal origin the zero zero point it's placing that into the current projects a zero zero point but where is it and the reason it was difficult was because we had something called a project base point I'll switch it on here quickly using the visible graphics over overrides it's under the site all three points are under the uh, site um, heading over here you can see the project base point all right there's the project base point now you can move the project base point around and you can clip and unclip it That's our project base point. And then visibility graphics overrides. That's a little round thing. A little round icon. And then the survey beacon, or the survey point, that is a little triangle. And you can see them superimposed at the moment. And then the last one is the internal origin. And then you can see it's switching around. It's got a little. Uh, green for Y and red for X and that is where you can see all three points superimposed on top of one another in the X and the Y direction um, and that is what they look like now you know it's quite easy to understand really if you think about it this way your project base point is supposed to be somewhere on that site which is immovable where you can go with a measuring tape and measure X Y and Z it's that simple here in Cape Town we, uh, most of the guys don't bother with that because we're very close to the um, sea level and that is why uh, they don't really bother they just use the levels and so forth and um, they just say that it's not too far above sea level but of course if you're modeling in Johannesburg or some such then that's not so easy so really what it's about is modeling around this green and red icon that is where Revit likes to have the model elements and I just quickly want to show you what happens when you relocate the project as well and maybe set the coordinates quickly all right so to set the coordinates we specify the coordinates at a point we're in the southern hemisphere so that is also in meters and so what we're going to do is input there negative 89 100 and then add three zeros four meters there's one two one two three there we go all right i've already moved the cad drawing down by six meters um because then the um <coughs> the um contours will align okay i've already created the surface and then you can see the contours at the moment we are around about 100 uh, 1500 meters away from where we should be all right um but that is just what you see on the screen and then of course we can also report the shared coordinates let's check our work that should read 8900 and then three zeros and that is so and that is correct and then also in the other direction we're going to specify shared coordinates there and we're going to say that's minus 84300 and then one two three there we go right now notice what's happened the little triangles moved away and where the triangles move to if I double click on the screen to zoom extends the triangles moved all the way to the survey beacon where the survey beacon is all right so it's always a good idea just pin that in place if you don't want to see it in this view just right click and hide it in this view there are various different ways in which you can do that and then if we zoom extends then we get into the uh, building the uh, site easily all right so here's a section that I've drawn just to go through the topography Right. So maybe there's some other element on the screen where I want this project base point to be. 
I can move it in the X and the Y direction. It's reporting It's reporting its coordinates relative, uh, relative to the survey beacon. If I take it and I drag it away, can you see that the coordinates change? All right? And they've taken that. That's great. All right. So we can place that somewhere on the site where it makes sense. There's some immovable object, a drain cover, or something like that. And then also in the elevation, we need to see that. Again, it's in the visual graphics overrides. Going to look at the site and under the site we can expand that and what you won't see at the moment is that the survey point is at uh, sea level that is how we keep it the project base point that's going to be at the project um, level All right so there's the there's a the project point and then the survey beacon although you can't see it on the screen it's very far away that is at sea level okay and what you can see over here is that on the levels themselves they can then report their position relative to either the survey point or to the project base point and the same is true of the um, contour readings all right so what i can do with this little guy here tab to it to select it and then i can move that up to some other point where i can measure from on the site with a measuring tape all right now in the past what we had to do was unclip this and move it back to the origin that's not necessary anymore because we've got the internal zero zero point. We have a look at that site. There we go. There's the internal origin. Immediately it shows us where the internal origin of Revit is. And remember the important thing is you always model around this item over here. Now notice what happens to the levels. Remember they're reporting from the survey base point. When we relocate the project into Johannesburg, we can use this tool over here. It says relocate project. We're going to click somewhere on the screen, move upwards by 1,500 meters. We're working in millimeters, so we add three zeros. All right. We zoom extends. There we can see the survey beacon. That is at zero. And there we can see we are still around the internal project base point. So it's just moved. There you can see what the elevation of that point is now. It's 1,500 above sea level, roundabouts. And if we have a look at the survey beacon, that's going to be at around about zero. Okay, so our elevations and our contours can give us the X, Y, and Z reading relative to either the project base point or the survey beacon. And that is exactly as we want it. But we are always modeling around that zero, zero, zero point and having a look at the site. That is what it looks like. All right. So it's a great way to show people that or to understand where your internal origin is. And you should always make sure that you are modeling very close to this origin, as close to the origin as what you can. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little expose of... Uh, there's one little thing about uh, Revit 2020 which is fantastic um, I enjoy it because I teach and it's very easy now to explain to people what the internal uh, project origin was previously people didn't really understand that um, and I hope you enjoy using Revit 2020 I would suggest that by this stage it's very stable and you can definitely move your company up to Revit 2020 if you guys are going to use 2020 for a new project well enjoy your Revit until next time have Fun.